All right, the next thing we're gonna do is set up the firewall to allow traffic from the outside to get into our web server. Uh, two things we need to configure for that. We need to configure some NATs, and then we need to configure access rules. So first we're gonna do NAT. Um, the way the NAT works is it creates a uh, bi-directional rule. So we're gonna create this kind of backwards than you might think. We're actually gonna create the NAT rule to allow the traffic uh, to get from the web server to the outside. Uh, so we're going to do that. So we're going to pick the inter interface any. We're going to create an object for the web server. So we'll call that uh, web server. So it's going to be a host. No, we don't want to do this. Oh yeah, there we go. IP address is going to be 10.1.1.130 for your IP. All right. Okay. So anything from the web, web server, from so the original yeah so the original packet is going to be the web server IP address to any out the outside interface any service we'll leave that the translated packet we're going to have the source address of we're going to create a new object. We're going to call it web server public. The IP address we're going to use for this is going to be one of our IPs from our network range I'm going to give you. And we're going to add that. So if the original packet is the, the web server source address we're going to change that to be the outside address and we're going to keep that to be the original <clears throat> we could put specific ports on here so if we were only using one outside address and need to go to different servers we could do ports but we're not going to do ports because we want pretty much any traffic uh, from to and from our web server to be allowed through and then we'll use the the uh, firewall rules to to filter what is allowed as far as services go. So now after after we put the NAT in, now we need to go put an access rule in and we're gonna put it down here on the glow on the outside section. We're gonna add, we're gonna say we want to permit anything from any to a destination. The destination we want is our web server public address. And then our services we're gonna put HTTP and HTTPS. HTTP and HTTPS. So in theory, we have our rule from the outside that says anything coming to the web server public address of uh, HTTP and HTTPS uh, should be allowed, uh, permitted, so then that traffic will get sent to the web server based on the NAT. So if I did this correctly, now that you have put it in from the outside uh, of your firewall, meaning something out on my network, uh, you should be able to access your web server by, um, by HTTP, HTTPS. Another thing we might need to do is we, we probably need to allow DNS traffic in. So assuming that your DNS server is still, still running on your web server, which may or may not be the case, uh, if it's not running on your web server, you need to put in another NAT for the DNS server. But if it is still running on the web server, then we can just modify the, this access rule to add uh, UDP to that. So we'll come down here and we'll add UDP, UDP, DNS, I should say, UDP. And we remember that was called domain, UDP. Uh, filter. Yeah. And that'll let uh, the UDP traffic in. So now, assuming you have your DNS server running on your web server still, I should be able to um, ask your DNS server for your domain name, and you should give it to me, and I should be able to access your web server by domain name. Uh, and that would give us uh, the setup we're looking to complete uh, this week.